Hi there, and uh, welcome to my next uh, edition of Warhammer Quest. Uh, I've just finished a quest, as you can see it's flashing red, and we're going to fast travel to Marburg. Sometimes on the journey uh, you can have a few issues uh, regarding sort of things that can go wrong, but got there straight away, and uh, each town has its own sort of nice little sequence to show you what it looks like. Uh, so that's quite cute. Uh, and when we get in there's a number of options. Um, I've done the temple uh, in the previous one. This is the main quest associated with the town and you'll see that in red when we come out of the town. Uh, so there's a lot of information there. If you, you can freeze it obviously and read about it. Uh, but we're going to go to the market and we're going to sell um, a few items that we picked up in the previous dungeon. Uh, they're only worth money. Uh, we haven't got a great deal so I might have a quick look around but there's nothing I can really afford apart from I'm going to get some very cheap small provisions for 10 gold because they do a bit of healing uh, and in the last dungeon I got a bit beaten up in a few places so uh, what we're going to do now the red quest as I say is associated with that town and there's some side quests in white we're going to go and do vestment of shadow hood uh, sorry about the, the jumping the flickering um, it sort of settles down uh, and so this is, um, by the sounds of it, is uh, an item of clothing for the wizard. So I think you need to beefing up a bit, so we're going to go and look at this. Um, as you'll see, this is part one of three. So this is actually, I thought it'd be quite straightforward and simple. This is actually quite a lengthy um, adventure. Uh, so you can see the way we need to go with the arrows at the bottom. Uh, the fighters are often put at the back here, so it's a bit of a pain in the neck. Uh, they can only travel about four squares, so we can just about get to the next section. Uh, immediately attacked uh, by snotlings, which are the probably apart from spiders, are about sort of the easiest foe. Uh, in fact, they're so easy, I decided to send the wizard in. Uh, no one else can really get there. Uh, and what happens is he'll do an attack, he gets them because they're so easy, and then he automatically gets another attack, so that's two done. Uh, he's got winds of magic, he's got five, so he could actually use two of them to do shadow daggers. Uh, so I'm going to do that, as you'll see. It's just going to do that on the one. You can only do it on the ones next to you, adjacent to you. Um, so just let you kill them, but you can do another one because you've got a, a three left. So there we go. I've got rid of them, uh, and then I've got my archer, elf archer. There you go. No problem. Got rid of them. The fighters didn't have to do anything. I've got a potion of healing, so that was pretty good for four snotlings. So next, so I've got winds of power four. So that's can't do a lot with that. So let's see how far we can get. Can probably use this to regroup a little bit uh, and then end turn again. So let's see what I get. Oh, being attacked by five giant rats. That's not too bad. Because we get attacked uh, while we're supposed to be in a rest phase, uh, my magic user doesn't actually gain any magic. So it's a bit of a pain for him. Uh, so anyway, he got rid of one rat. Um, my archer got rid of another one. I'll probably decide to get rid of the one by the magic user to save attack on him because he's pretty low armor class, so to speak. <clears throat> uh, yeah, excuse my popping, but I've got a bit of a cold here. Uh, so my fighters... Oh, crap, that guy is so useless. There's always one, isn't there? There's always one in the party that is useless. It was Zed in uh, Dungeon Siege. Um, but anyway, there we go. One thing is when he gets attacked, uh, he does get a counter-attack off them. Uh, the user's taking quite a bit of damage there, which is a bit of a pain. But we've got some small provisions, so that's quite handy. Uh, so what we're going to do now then? Oh, hang around, looking to see what's going on. Oh yes. So uh, this will, it normally shows in portrait mode, but it, it won't on this reflector thing here. But what I'm doing is I'm just seeing if I can um, uh, take up some of these small provisions and actually equip them. When you're in combat, you can't change what you're equipped, so you need to sort of um, prepare for that. So I'm actually going to use some of the uh, small provisions to heal my wounds. Uh, later on when the magic user gets more points uh, he's got a, a big advantage that he can actually do healing and so in these turns where you're just walking around magic user can be healing people that have taken damage so that's pretty useful but you need five magic for that in fact he's got five now so I'm not quite sure if I've noticed that and whether I'll heal anyone no I probably didn't there you go could have healed the fighter that's a bit dumb so uh, there's a junction here so you can go two ways um, I'll probably go up at this point because uh, that's probably going to be the side quest, so to speak. Uh, there's always sort of the main way in these dungeons and the side way, but it's normally quite easy to work out. Uh, it seems to be quite logical, these things. This one surprised me, because unlike the other ones, this was an awful lot of walking about. 
Ah, oh, six magic. Do I notice that and heal him? Ah, there we go, healing mist. So I think it does something like one to six or something, so that's quite good. That's him fully healed. So right, there we go, just moving them. Just having to sort of move up and down a bit just to see where everyone is because they're just walking around at the moment. We'll end turn again. Every time you can end turn, you've got a chance of being attacked. So this time it's bats. They get an attack in to start with, and my um, archer and my main fighter are taking quite a bit of damage. But let's see, should get rid of these quite easily. Uh, magic user again has got one and didn't get the second one. Yes, these are quite easy. You can see at the top there, their shield, they've only got two um, armor class, so to speak. They're quite easy to hit. <laughs> Saying that, of course, my fighter then misses. Uh, the other one hits and then gets another attack, and he misses. Pretty embarrassing, really, though. Uh, my sort of uh, minor characters actually seem to be uh, a lot better at hitting than my main fighters. Oh, sorry about the, the jittery. Uh, it's this reflector program I'm using, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, I'm moving, I've am moving. i moved to a new system, so uh, if I can post another one of these, it should actually be a lot more stable. Uh, but this was done on the old system, I'm afraid, so sorry about that. Uh, so I've done a bit of healing here. Uh, they've taken quite a bit of damage from some bats. I'm going to use some bandages on that fighter to get him up uh, and some on there. So yeah, they, they've used up quite a lot of the healing already. I mean, not actually met anything that's really that dangerous, to be honest. So here we are. More bats. Cramp. So there's an awful lot of bats here. So he's going to move up so he can try and attack both of those. So oh, I'm going to send my wizard up as well. Probably stick him in the corner there so he can attack one of them if necessary. Yeah, so he got rid of that one, so that makes it a bit easier. Oh, my main, one of my main fighters can't hit a bat, whereas my wizard can. It's not embarrassing. <laughs> my archer's still not particularly good at this level. Uh, so I can't do a lot on that one, so it's their attacks on me. I'm not sure this is going to hurt. That was two. Oh, that was three. Oh, at least that one missed. So what am I going to do now? Hopefully I'm going to move him another way so the fighter can move into position, but it um, looks as though I'm pinned and sort of can't do a lot about it. Let's have a look. I'm not quite sure. Alright, oh, I did that because there was the two of them and there was a chance he could get rid of both, so then I could try and get rid of this with the arrow. So that made sense. Oh, he can come around as well. Ah, it's cleared the way. There we go. There was a method in my madness. So we picked up something that we can sell for 10 gold, so that's quite good. I'm going to use my magic now to heal him. Oh, that's quite good then. That was four wounds, so he's pretty, he's fully healed. Winds of power too, can't do much with that apart from um, a sort of a shadow bolt thing, which is quite close. Spiders are interesting, they're, they're very easy to hit, uh, but as you'll see that one of the issues is that when they attack they web you and that freezes you and puts you out of action for a turn, so that's a bit of a lava. Uh, so I'm going to make sure I can get these two. I can't do a lot about the other one when there's no archer. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they're, they're so easy to hit, they've got an armor class or two. He's going to try and take that one out with his... yeah. So that's good. There's, there's two left which will come in and um, do an attack. To, at this level often gets um, attacked by them because his arm guards are low. Unfortunately my fighter has been attacked and then something else comes along. Six goblins. So this is a bit tricky with two of my characters done. Uh, uh, not looking too good really. At least the goblins aren't particularly um, nasty. But um, I have a 10 minute limit on my recording so I'm about to sort of finish this part one. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll post the other two um, as soon as I can. Cheers then. Thanks for watching.